Hi everybody. Wanted to do a little video here on the Tygo optimizers and what they are and what I'm using them for in my setup. Had a few questions about them, so here's one on top of the shed. Sorry, I'm on top of the shed. It's a little windy. But I have optimizers on top of the shed here and my panels on the roof over there. Each panel has an optimizer on it. And these are to help with shading and whatnot, but I used them for the per panel diagnostic so I can see what each panel is doing. And of course, for the rapid shutdown that's required by code. So I used the uh, TS4AO, just standard optimizers. There's other versions you'll be able to research out there, but these are quite easy to install. They simply clip to the edge of the panel. Your output from your solar goes to the short leads of the optimizer. They have to go to the short leads and you have to connect those first. So attach the optimizer, take your outputs from the solar into the short leads of your optimizer first. Do that to all of your panels everywhere. Do that to all of them and then wire them in series and parallel however you need them. Like in my case, the first three are series the last three here are in series and then I parallel them to up my amperage into my system and then it's the long leads here so you connect the panel to the short leads first and then the long leads you treat just like you would these so when you're doing your connections it's long leads to long leads to the next one but it's always the short leads to the panel first otherwise you could ruin these and these optimizers come in an on state, so as soon as you plug them in, they're gonna start passing power, where some of them don't. But these ones are in an on state during shipping, so you just plug them in and they will immediately start allowing power to flow. They don't come in an off status like I think the fire rated ones or something does. And to get these to work, they're wireless, you need what's called the TAP unit, Think of it like an access point that broadcasts a keep alive single. So when you hit the button, that keep alive single goes away. And I'll show that device here in a minute, but that single goes away. These turn off, effectively cutting off the panel because the panels come into the short leads and then back out. So when these get the single to stop producing or stop allowing flow, these turn off and that will stop at the module, any power for safety for first responders or whatnot, or if you need to, you can shut each panel off, indiv not individually, but as a system whole to stop the power at the module for safety. But that's what these are. They give per module safety to tur turn off. And what I like is the diagnostics. So I'll give you a, a peek at the uh, other piece of equipment, but. Each panel gets its own, even the ones on the roof over there. So I'm gonna pop down and we'll uh, try and get another shot here. So those modules, the optimizers I should say behind the modules here, all require a wireless TAP unit, which I have mounted underneath that panel here and they're good for a distance of, I wanna say it was 33 meters or such and they broadcast far enough that the optimizers over here reach it, which is only around 30 feet, but 33 meters was whatever a meter is, right? Far enough that they all receive the wireless signal from the optimizer underneath this panel. And that wireless transmitter is turned on or off. with the safety button here, which is reachable over the fence for first responders if need be, rapid shutdown. And then just a quick look at my panels up there, All right? They come into the attic, down, and just here's a glimpse at some of my safety equipment. And I have one of these on the shed and this is the roof. And there's how I have them labeled. And this is the feed from the shed. The shed comes up in, 
in, and then there's my generator hookup I did. But these are the safety disconnects. But that is the rapid shutdown. If you push that, and I'll demonstrate that, when you push that, all the panels will shut off at the panel level. And I'll demonstrate that here in a second. So here is what the optimizers are listening to. This is the Tygo CCA. And it's simply 24 volt power, excuse me, 24 volt power here. This goes to that TAP, the tap on the roof. That's the wireless access point, basically. And I have two switches here. They come into here, two of the safety switches to this little guy. And this is for internet connectivity, so you can see all the stats. And here is the app. And you can get a good read on all of your modules and what they're doing. So there we go. And you can select what reading you want. You can watch their current, their voltage, whatnot, but per panel ratings in the Tygo app, which I like, it's very cool. And for a real demonstration of the switch here, so here's another safety cutoff switch that I put. There's power for the unit, which is battery backed up, of course, and uh, all you have to do is pull power, which will turn the signal off and turn off all the models, or you can hit the safety stop. And right now we are currently bringing in 2,600 watts, and I'm not at 32% yet, so I'm still on grid until the batteries charge up. And today is moderately cloudy, right? It's not gray, but not totally clear. We will go to the EcoFlow app here real quick. And here's what I'm currently bringing in and using. So my two solar sides here, is that gonna show up? Too much shadow. Or if we go to the labs, right, there's our, our in and our out. There's what's coming in, right? I got 12 amps coming in on a partially cloudy day for 2,700 watts, but we can watch it here as well. So I'm gonna hit the safety button here. I'm gonna push that and as best I can, I'll show both of these numbers. You'll see them all zero out. Ready? Let's see, where's the show? There we go. One, two, three. There it is. Within 30 seconds, I think, is the requirement, but everything went to zero. And that's using the switch right here, which is the same switch I showed on the outside, going to, going to the Tygo up here. Right, I got both switches in there. I think it's a normally open switch and when it closes, it kills the broadcast transmission to the panels and the panels all shut down at the panel level. And then for mine, if I simply twist and release, there it comes. High voltage, and there's the low voltage. And there it is. And our input is climbing, getting back to where it was. There we go. And that's the safety disconnect. So it completely de-energizes the system in case you need it. So there's a real world example, which I also did a lot of research to find, but Tygo is awesome so far. They'll help you design the system. They'll There's a application there to uh, learn where to put that tap, that wireless unit, the best location based on distance. So they have that calculator on there. So you know where to put it to reach all of your panels. And they have a uh, kind of like a, a little learning institute, little schooling on all the uh, TS4s so that you can learn what they are in detail and how to connect them and a whole little school on it. So it's pretty cool that way. Um, easily searchable if you go to their site, but uh, I've had good luck with it. It was really easy to install and uh, I would 
totally expand on the same system. So hope that helps everyone. Thanks.